24 News exclusive. Iran right now working hard to improve the range and the accuracy of Hezbollah missiles sitting in Beirut factories. And now, for the very first time, we will unmask the Iranian Revolutionary Guard's point man, the top engineer who oversees this project to convert Hezbollah's surface-to-surface -surface missiles into more powerful precision-guided weapons. Joining me in studio is I-24 News senior defense correspondent, Matthias Inbar. Matthias, tell us more about who this man is and what exactly he is doing in Beirut. Actually, it's something that Iran and Hezbollah hates, is that its shadow men are revealed. Today, we are able to reveal the name of this guy. You're going to see his face. Um, his name, Majid Nadeb, 54 years old, an Iranian engineer, a senior official in the Air Force of the Revolution Guards. Uh, he was transferred to the elite uh, force, elite Al-Quds unit. Um, he's constantly on the move between Tehran and Beirut. And what can be said in addition to what has been said before, that there are three sites in Beirut of uh, uh, missile development uh, uh, construction missiles. He exactly works on two other sites in the Beka Valley and also in South Lebanon. What is he doing? And is that Iran is developing in recent years uh, um, uh, a network of such kind of this guy, you know, this engineer in Yemen, Syria and in Lebanon. Yeah. What is important for us to understand is that what's going on in Yemen, it's kind of a, of a laboratory of what could be done in Israel tomorrow in a month. Uh, Hezbollah really is one of Iran's most powerful proxy militias, most powerful proxy terror groups. They have estimated more than 100,000 missiles, but a lot of them are not precision guided. He's basically changing that. He's upgrading these weapons every day, right? And he's working on a special missile called Fatah 110. His range is 300 kilometers means that from Beirut, you can uh, um, target any targets in, into Israel, Haifa, Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, mm. very strategic uh, places and targets in Israel. And he's working his role of uh, Majid Nadeb. This is very important to, to notify. He's working precisely on the Fatah 110. All right, let's take a look now at the missile, uh, the recent developments in the missile program now, uh, explaining what is going on in Lebanon, thanks to Iranian assistance. On Friday, Hassan Nasrada threatened Israel. Map in hand, his father's secretary general claimed to have the capacity to strike precise locations anywhere within the Jewish state. We will start in the north, in Netanya, all the way down to Ashdod. We possess a specific type for the north, and our other missiles, instead of using them in the north, will send them to the Gaza Strip. Will the Zionists be able to withstand that? They'll return to the Stone Age. So who will take the other down first in the Stone Age? Behind this program is one man, 54-year-old Majid Nabed an Iranian engineer in charge of developing nuclear sites where precision missiles are built, destined for Hezbollah in Lebanon. A high-ranking member of the Air Force Wing of Iran's Revolutionary Guard, he's been assigned to the elite Iranian Al-Quds forces, specifically to build the Fatah 110 long-range missile. His program was revealed in September 2018 by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at the United Nations. Netanyahu's speech was broadcast on social media by the Israel Defense Forces. Here's the first missile site. It's in the Uzai neighborhood, on the water's edge, a few blocks away from the runway. Here's the second site. It's underneath a soccer stadium. That's the soccer stadium. Two blocks away. And here's the third site. It's adjacent to the airport itself, right next to it. According to Israeli military intelligence, Tehran has several engineers like Majid Nabed, specifically in Yemen. Iran is using the civil war as the testing ground for precision missiles, aiming at Saudi targets. One hit the Jezan and Abha airports, a scenario that could unfold in Israel tomorrow. Matthias, tremendous investigative reporting. Joining you Thank in you. the studio is retired IDF General Hanan Geffen. He was the former commander of the prestigious 8200 Intelligence Unit. Your response to Matthias' reporting here that we have the name and the background details and the travel itinerary of this engineer who is working in Hezbollah's top ranks. Yeah, well, I don't know where to start even because it's a very important uh, piece of information. Let's start with the Lebanese, because there will be many questions asked by the Lebanese government, 
by the, even in, within the Hezbollah, because this is an embarrassment. All the international community in the last half of year were warning Lebanon, do not go on with your precision-guided program. Don't uh, proceed. It's the American, the French, the Brits, all over the, the United Nations. So now it's a, it's a major embarrassment for them. For, for them. It's a challenge for Israel. Because, but I guess the Israeli intelligence, the Israeli uh, um, uh, defense forces knows about this program, following it closely, and I guess by diplomatically and other measures are trying to foil it. Because this is the major threat on Israel current days. This is the major threat, not army invasion, nothing. This is the threat, only threat that Israel, beside the, the nuclear, which is... Thank <laughs> you.